So the brand new M3 MacBook Airs just ended up coming around and I wanted to go ahead and make a video of basically some of my most favorite tricks and tips that you can basically utilize for this particular MacBook. It's a very good MacBook. I've had a really good time with it so far for the last few days. So let's go and knock down a few of my favorite little tricks and tips if you really want to call it that. The first thing I want to go and tell you is hiding the notch at the very top if you really want to do that. The notch is a very cool feature, but if you're not into it or if it's not really anything that you, know, you want to go ahead and do, you can always download a particular kind of plugin that will allow you to toggle on the app, you know, the notch on and off. And this particular one is called Top Notch for macOS. So the website is topnotch.app. So you can actually access this website just by going into it just from your Safari browser. And at this point, all you want to do is download and install this particular plugin. So you want to download this one for free. And then at that point, all you're really going to have to do is once it's downloaded, all you're really going to have to do here is just install it just like any other application. So click and download, double click it to install it. And then at that point, you should be able to have this particular top little like plugin thing that'll come up at the very top on your status bar. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go and just toggle this thing on just like this. And what's going to end up happening is, is that for the most part, what you're going to wanna do is you wanna go ahead and see that the notch will basically just go ahead and turn off. So what you can do here is that the notch will just completely turn off just like this. And that's really all you're really going to have to do. So at this point, you can just use your MacBook as you normally would, but the notch will basically be completely turned off. And that's really all you're really going to have to do here at this point. So now what I'd recommend doing is just turning this off right here. And then if you want to keep it on or keep it off, you can just do whatever you want to. But that basically is how it works. That's the first thing to do. So the next thing is basically enabling or disabling dark mode. Now on your MacBook, it's a very easy thing to do. What you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and click on your Apple logo right up here. And you want to go and click into your system settings. Now when you do that, you'll get into this type of panel, and this is a really easy thing that you can basically do as well. Now at this point, what you're going to want to do is, once again, it's a very, very easy thing to do. You want to go and get into your display settings. So hop into display. So you see display in one of these options. So right here, click into display, and then you'll see a couple of different options. So once you're in your settings, you want to go and click on appearance, and this type of panel is going to come up. Now when you come here, all you're really going to want to do is click on the light mode, the dark mode, the auto mode. You can change whichever type of preference and the styling and the appearance that you actually want on your particular MacBook. And this is actually pretty cool because it will allow you to go ahead and basically get a little bit more, I would say, kind of like a styling of your particular Mac, which is actually pretty cool. So then what you want to do here is you can change your accent color too. You can change the color from this one to this one to this one. I mean, you can kind of customize this whichever way you want to which is genuinely such a cool thing to do. Now also the accent and the highlight color here, you can change it whichever way you want to. You can customize a lot of these things, which is actually very cool. And this, once again, in and of itself, is another really awesome thing that you can kind of see and kind of check out for your particular Mac, which is genuinely a super cool thing as well. Now, on top of that, another really cool thing on your particular MacBook is enabling different focus modes. So what focus modes allow you to do is it allows you to kind of have somewhat of like a customizable type of, you know, I guess a customizable type of, you know, do not disturb mode on your particular device. So this is a very cool thing because what it allows you to do is it kind of allows you to kind of have a more customized do not disturb mode for your particular, you know, whatever you're doing on your particular Mac, which again is another really cool thing in and of itself. So what you can do is you can do custom, you can do gaming, you can do personal reading, you can kind of break it down whichever way you want to. And this in and of itself is a really cool thing. And if you do like a gaming focus, what will happen is if it automatically detects a wireless controller, it will automatically turn on this gaming focus mode just like this, which will allow you to basically have more of a, I guess, seamless experience when you're using your type of MacBook, in my opinion, because if it just automatically knows that, that's actually a pretty cool thing in and of itself, which I actually do like a lot. Now, another really cool thing you can do is actually change your pointer color so the color, your pointer color of your particular MacBook, right inside of your system settings as well. So if you want to try this out, it's pretty funny. What you want to do is you want to go and get into your accessibility settings right up here, and you want to click on display. Now, when you're in display, there's going to be a little option that says pointer. So you should be able to find a little pointer option right here. And then you can go and change the pointer size. So you can just change this if you want to. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can see my pointer size is getting bigger or smaller just from that. And if you want to, you can also change the pointer outline color and the pointer fill color. So if you want your pointer you know, outline color to be different and your pointer fill color to be different, 
you can change those little things right here too, which is another really awesome thing. So if you want to customize it a little bit further, you can always go down here and kind of check that out. And that in and of itself is another really cool thing you can kind of see here, which is another cool thing that I actually genuinely like seeing. Now on top of that, another really cool thing is under your battery options. So if you want to save a ton of battery inside of your MacBook basically all the time, you can enable low power mode. What this will allow you to do is it's going to go ahead and basically limit and throttle your battery a little bit so it's going to make your performance a little bit worse. And it's also going to, I think, dim down the display a little bit. But it's going to save a lot of battery on your MacBook. So if you're in a pinch, if you're less than like 10% or 20% on battery, you can always just enable low battery mode. That's something you can do. I think you can also enable it from the top right corner. There might be a little section here, but if not, you can always just you know kind of enable it or disable it here, which is something that's very awesome. And while you're here, you can actually find a little option under options right here. So if you tap into options here, you can go ahead and basically slightly dim the display if you're on battery, which can be kind of a cool thing for some people. Now, if you want to just have the highest brightness of all time, you can go and do that and optimize video, st video streaming while you're on battery. This is another option if you want to have the best battery life, you can enable this toggle too if you want to save a little bit more battery life on your particular MacBook. Now another thing is if you want to go and check it out, is outside of this, on the top or right corner of your particular Mac, you can always customize these toggles that are up in the status bar. You can do this by just clicking in your control center right here. You can always drag and drop a particular, like if you want an airdrop toggle right up here, you can go and drag and drop that here. If you want to disable, like if you want to take off a other toggle, like if you don't like this toggle or whatever, you can also just turn off a toggle by just dragging it and dropping it back into here, like if you don't want Wi-Fi or whatever. You can customize a lot of these things here, which is really nice. So once again, you can kind of turn on or off airdrop whichever way you want to, but there's a lot of cool little you know, toggles to kind of turn on here. Under display, another big thing I would always recommend doing is keeping your true tone on because it warms the display a lot and it makes it a lot nicer. But under display settings, I think the average person probably doesn't want to, you know, to automatically adjust your brightness automatically. That can be kind of an annoying thing because randomly your battery light, like your bat, your display will just randomly get higher or lower. And for some people that can be annoying. And I know for some people it may be a pro, but for me personally, I hate that so much. So I typically would just go ahead and just automatically adjust my brightness. I will just do it manually. So I will just go ahead and disable this for the most part. Because once again, that can be kind of an annoying thing that some people will, will kind of run into. So you might just want to go and try that out too. Now, those are basically the main things to kind of do for the most part. Now, if none of those things are working, if basically you want to go ahead and you know, essentially just kind of enjoy your MacBook without having to do all this other crazy stuff that I kind of talked about, the biggest thing I could recommend the average person to do is to take care of your MacBook and putting a case on it and keeping it in as a good condition as possible. I don't think with MacBooks you have to have like the most elaborate cases of all time, but I do think even a skin can go a very long way. So putting some sort of skin on it, putting some sort of even like a cheap plastic case on this type of thing will probably secure your MacBook and make it that much more durable. I know some people who have like covers on their keyboards and stuff and screen protectors. I don't know if you necessarily have to go that route, but I would recommend for the average person out there putting a case on your you know screen protector and putting a case on your MacBook and screen protector, putting a case on your MacBook. Keeping it in as good condition that way is probably one of the smartest things you can do there, just so you can kind of keep your MacBook in as good condition as possible for a long period of time. So those are probably some of my most favorite tricks and tips, if you really want to call it that, for your particular MacBook out there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.